Hi everyone, welcome to my channel Big Bang Chemistry. Today I am going to explain the symmetry element present in trans diamino dichloroplatine or transplatine. The hybridization of this molecule is what DSP2, right? And the shape of this molecule is what square planar. So before starting our investigation about the presence of the symmetry element in this molecule, we must draw the one structure for the word transplatine. And this is the reference structure and with respect to this structure, we will try to understand the presence of all symmetry element in this molecule. So this is the chlorine atom, chlorine atom in transposition. And this is the ammonia molecule. And this is the what ammonia molecule in transposition. Again, for our best understanding, mark it as a A, mark it as a B, this is your C and this is the D. So let's start the search of presence of symmetry element in this molecule. So first of all, we will start the principal axis of rotation or C in operation. So for this again, we have to start, we have to redraw the structure of this molecule. Now in this molecule, many axes are visible, but all the axes are not again the symmetry element. We will search and we will try to see that the all the axes are the symmetry element or not. And operation which we are doing ab about all the axes are giving the what equivalent structure to the and the operation which we are doing about the all the axes and the operation which we are doing about the all the axis that operation is providing the equivalent structure to the original or not we will search one by one so in this molecule many axes are visible so in this molecule one axis which is visible for me this is the one axis number one this is the what one more axis number two so first of all we will try to search first of all we will do the what symmetry operation about these two axis then we will do the symmetry operation about the other rest of the axis. So do the symmetry operation about this axis number one C2 operation, right? And rotate this molecule around this axis in this direction. So what we see that when we do this operation, then the position of chlorine A, this is the chlorine A and the chlorine C will not change. But the position of two diagonal ammonia will change this ammonia NH3 become A and this NH3 B so the position will interchange and then when we compare this structure this is structure this is structure number two and this is the structure one then we find that this structure one is equivalent to what two so we see that this symmetry operation is giving us a structure which is equivalent to the original one that's why the C2 axis will consider as a what symmetry element so one c2 is present in this molecule now do the same symmetry operation about this axis number two that is c2 again right and now in this time what will happen when we perform the c2 operation that is rotation by 180 degree about this axis so what will happen the ammonia the position of ammonia will not change ammonia will be remain on its position and this is the ammonia b and this is your what ammonia a but the position of chlorine will interchange. The CLA will take the position of CLC and CLC will take the what position of CLA. Again, this two chlorine atom, two ammonia is equivalent. And then when we compare the structure three, this is the structure three with one, then we find that it is equivalent to one. So this operation is giving the one structure one geometry of the molecule which is equivalent to the what original one that's why this c2 is our symmetry element now in this molecule one more axis is visible which is passing through the platinum and the bisecting the two opposite edge line this is axis number three so what we will do we will again do the what c2 operation about this axis and then we will rotate this molecule in this direction right at 180 degree so we will get the new configuration which is equivalent to the original one or not after the operation we will get the idea this is platinum so when we move this one then what will happen that clc position will interchange with the what nh3d and nh3d position is interchange with the what clc right same thing will happen that nh3 
B will come here and CLA will come here and this is your water structure number 3. So when we compare the structure 1 and 3 then we find that structure 1 and 3 are not equivalent to each other. That's why this C2 will not consider as a what? C2 dash will not consider as a what symmetry element of this molecule. Now in this molecule one more axis is visible. That axis passing through the platinum and perpendicular to the what? Molecular plane or plane of the molecule. Right. This is the axis. And this axis is your what? Axis number 4. So when we do the C2 operation about this axis, C2 double dash, right, and rotation by 180 degree about this axis in this direction, then we are getting the new geometry of this molecule which is like that. This is your what CLC, this is your what NH3, this is your what NH3A, and this is your what CLA. And after this operation, this is structure number 4. And when we compare the structure 1 and 4, then structure 1 and 4 are equivalent to each other. So this C2 dash is our symmetry element of this molecule. One more axis visible in this molecule, which is the last ax axis, I hope, right? Which is passing through the what? Platinum and bisecting the line joining the chlorine and ammonia, right? This line. And when we do the what C2 operation about this axis, so just rotate by 180 degree, then we are getting this configuration of this molecule. This is NH3D, this is CLC, this is CLA, and this is NH3B. And this is what I structure number 6. So when we compare the structure 6 with 1, then we find that this is not equal to each other. So this C2 will not be the symmetry element of this molecule. So what is the conclusion after performing so many proper axis of rotation, after performing so many symmetry operation about the different axis? We find that this molecule have two symmetry, principal axis of rotation. We find that this molecule have two principal axis of rotation, two C2 dash. This two C2 dash is passing through platinum and two diagonal chlorine and ammonia molecule. And one C2 is present, which is your what Z axis, along this Z axis, which is your what, which is passing through platinum and perpendicular to the what, molecular plane. So I hope that everyone understood the presence of CN, symmetry element in this molecule. Now we will search the presence of plane of symmetry that this do this molecule have the plane of symmetry or not we will search with this one so next symmetry operation is what plane of symmetry so for this again we will draw the what square planar geometry of this molecule and we will take the what same structure which we draw first right cl is here this is the ammonia this is your ammonia this is your cl again mark it a B, C, and D. As we know that the hybridization of this molecule is what DSP2 and the shape of this molecule is what square planar. So we know that this molecule is what planar molecule. So this molecule will have the one plane, right? Which is nothing, it is the what plane of the molecule. So this is the what plane of the molecule, right? This pink color is a molecular plane. Now this plane is a symmetry element or not, we don't know. So first we will try to see that reflection through this plane then after getting the reflection through this plane then again we are getting the same equivalent structure which is our cl this is your what ammonia which is b type this cl is a type this is also ammonia which is our d type this cl which is what c type and this is your platinum right and when we compare these two structure this is structure one and 2 then we find that this is what equivalent to 1 and 2 but now we have to justify that this plane is what horizontal plane or vertical plane so we know that from the principal axis of rotation that out there is two type of axis are present c2 dash and c2z so out of this this two the c2z is your what principal axis so we know that from the definition of horizontal plane and vertical plane the plane containing the principal axis will be your what vertical plane and the plane which plane 
having the plane which is perpendicular to the what principal axis will be the horizontal plane so in this molecule this is your what principal axis cz and this cz is the what perpendicular to this plane so this plane will be your what horizontal plane so now here this sigma h is what horizontal plane which is your what molecular plane only now in this molecule two more plane is visible and those plane symmetry element are not we will justify it i can redraw the square planar geometry of this molecule so what are the planes which are visible for me and for you also see that this plane right now it is visible for you that this is the plane now try to see the reflection of the all the atoms through this plane this is the one plane right this plane is symmetry element or not we will justify it by performing one operation about this plane so when we check the reflection of the atom through this plane then the chlorine a and chlorine c and platinum position will not change because this plane lying on this atom and this plane is lying also what on c to one axis right so what will happen this chlorine a will be remain on its position this chlorine c will be remain on its position but the ammonia position will change there this will be become what ammonia of d type and this is the what ammonia of become what a type but both ammonia are same so now again this is structure 2 and this is structure 1 both are the what equivalent to each other right that's why this is the what symmetry element now this plane is about your horizontal plane or vertical plane we will justify this one again see that this is your what principal axis which is perpendicular to this plane and this plane is containing this principal axis so this plane is your what vertical plane this is your what vertical plane one more vertical plane present in this molecule again redraw this what same structure now which one plane is visible try to see this plane now try to see the reflection through this plane so this is the plane the symmetry element and again now in this time the position of ammonia will not change but the position of chlorine will change this chlorine will become what chlorine c this chlorine will become what chlorine a ammonia will be as it is right so now we see that this is structure 3 this is structure 1 is what equivalent to each other that's why this is the what symmetry element again this plane is containing the what your principal axis so that this plane will become what vertical plane so two sigma we are present which is your what vertical plane principal axis in this molecule the third symmetry element is what inversion center is present or not yes in this molecule inversion center is present just perform the one operation for the what inversion center this chlorine this is what ammonia this is what ammonia this is what chlorine c c d a b platinum again we interchange the position of the this two diagonal atom through the word platinum then we are getting the what new configuration which is word platinum so this is what cl c and this will become what cl a this will become what nh3 d and this will become what nh3 b again this two structure are same so that's why inversion center is present this molecule right now there is a question that this molecule is having horizontal plane right c in operation also but we don't consider the sn in our symmetry element or distinct symmetry operation why we will explain in next video right so now total number of symmetry element present in this molecule is 2c2 dash 1c2 z and this c2 z is perpendicular to the what this c2 dash one horizontal plane two vertical plane and one inversion center symmetry element present in this molecule is what identity 2c2 dash 1c2 z one horizontal plane two vertical plane and one inversion center so please visit on my website for your practice paper download it take the print do the practice or enjoy your preparation for your next coming net exam thank you very much